This is where I'm up to on my VL. I've started getting most of it back together. I've been working on this entire job in my spare time, something I don't get a great deal of. The original plan was to put these aero sill covers on, aero side skirts, but as it turns out, they are very poorly made. Stuff like this wheel arch here, that's a mile off. The entire thing is about two inches too short, so it didn't fit on. These door panels are going to go on here. So all of that urethane was going to get covered. Now, I'm not able to get these to fit anymore, so I'm forced to put normal door molds on. And I should have, in hindsight, cleaned all this off. I was being a little bit lazy, I guess, and rushing it. So I'll have to clean that off and I've got a full set of door molds and these different sill covers here to see smaller. But that look should look quite nice. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. It's not perfect. Um, had it have been a customer's car, I probably would have gone about the job a little bit differently. But as I say, I am um, a bit pressed for time and it's a decent sized job to try and fit in in your own time. There is a few sort of bits of shrink back in the base coat because when I painted it, I did it on a Saturday and a Sunday and um, it did shrink back, but I still gave the entire thing a flow coat. So I've got a mad gloss on it. Um, still a few bits to go back together. I've got a slight bit of color difference there. Something that I'm going to be able to live with. It's only very minor. Um, part reason of that, even on this rear door over here, part reason is the doors aren't quite sitting right and you're getting a bit of a difference on the angle there, but on this one here, I ran out of um, door stand, so I was forced to paint this um, lying down rather than standing up, and you can see a slight difference there, so I'll just leave leave that as is because we got some shrink back through this panel again so I just puffed a bit of base coat over there which ended up because it was laying flat slightly different color again there's some damage down here a bit of a dent some down here too which I think I'll just end up painting the bottoms of these because they were going to originally get covered by those door panels but now they'll be seen now that I'm putting the just standard door molds on. Got my bumper bars up here. Got my rear bumper there. Ready to go on once I sort out the, and the front bars up there, but I've got to sort out this diff because it's got drum rear brakes and these walk and shore rims don't fit on the rear. My mechanic's gonna sort that out for me when he's got it up in the air. I've got a drop tank in there that I'm gonna put into and rip that tow bar off as well. Got to sort something out with the tail lights to make them look nice because the ones I've got look pretty crap, they're just standard ones. Got to get that other um, windscreen pillar moulding that's going over here. So all of this, that's all going to get hidden. That's why I didn't get overly fussed with it. I just ground the worst of the rust off, treated it, knowing that it's all going to get covered. But definitely a bit of a transformation from a couple of weeks ago. Turns out that I'm I'm leaving town in December to move over to Bangkok, Thailand. I've got a business opportunity heading over there, so it sort of turned into a bit of a, a rush job, and I've just got to get it done and sell it. So had I been going to keep it, I may have done a few things a little bit better. There is a few ripples in it. I'm aware of that, but all in all, it looks pretty nice, even just around that bonnet there. It's not perfect, but it's got a mad gloss on it. And it was just cool to do up my own car. Spend all this time working on other people's cars. It's good to get the opportunity to do your own. This one here, this is just held in by one screw, so that's gonna end up fitting a little bit better. I might end up seeing if I can slot these holes out and move that up a touch and get some better fitment out of that. But I'll be able to sort that stuff out. 
pretty easily. Handles back in. Got those Solex locks in, I reckon they look pretty cool. Got my boot spoiler on. All I did to fit that was just urethane and taped it down. I didn't want to go and drill holes into it because this is an area water can build up and if you have holes there then you can create leaks into your boot and that urethane is quite strong stuff, it's all you really need. I removed and refitted this rear windscreen myself. That's gone in quite nice. There was loads of rust behind here in that channel which I just treated and fiberglassed up. Any trims before I put them back on I polish them up, stuff like this. I reckon that looks pretty cool, that was just my idea to do the black through that frame there and then body colour down there. So give it a couple of weeks and it should be looking pretty mad. I'll drive it around for a little bit and then it'll be going on the market.